Well, that was definitely an experiment. Let's go to the mansion incident and see what happened. I actually really like this chapter here. This is a transition from Rebecca blowing up a mansion to going to a different one that might blow up later. Uh, I think that says Febeca. Febeca? Febeca. Oh, wow, we're really decking it out now. I love this. So are we going to play piano in this one? Ooh. Maybe. I kind of want to now, just to see how much she messes it up. Yeah, that, that harkens back to our Resident Evil DS playthrough, where Chris doesn't know how to play piano, and surprisingly, Rebecca doesn't either. No, you know what Chris's favorite music is? Rock music? Rock. Up with Billy, yeah. Rock and roll. Bravo team was to Aw, she just went through a breakup. When I arrived... That's terrible. Oh, I love him! <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna wear my work uniform and sleep forever and... She's floating on the bed. She's... Did. Oh, it's a transition. A nightmare. Oh. Snack. There I was, minding my own business, and then BAM! I'm a, I'm a character in Resident Evil. How do you get that? Hello? Would you like to buy some... snakeskin boots? They're not mine, I promise. Rebecca! Dude! Sure? You ever that fucking snake dream again? Get it together, girl! I just wanna have it coil around me and just I, just I just lose consciousness after that part. We were fighting some monster and Edward Snake. I see. The hell's that? <laughs> it's Richard. Oh, Richard. <laughs> it's <laughs> Richard. Who the fuck's Richard? <laughs> Who the fuck's Richard Aiken? Besides play Aiken's brother. <laughs> had to split up. Richard has such hiding or... a bad rap mainly because his only his only use in the original Resident Evil go. is to fucking die. <laughs> and the thing is, in Resident Evil Remake, they gave you a choice. You can choose how he dies. A horrible first is it death that. by snake? Or is it death by shark? You choose. First. So the shark comes out. He thinks he's going to die with the shark. <laughs> then he opens his mouth, and out comes a snake. <laughs> So it's both. But then the, the snake comes all the way up. The, and the, at the, the end of the shark, snake, the shark is a shark head. And so then he gets bit by a snake shark. Ah! So which one has the venom, the snake or the shark? I mean, obvious answer would be the snake, but you're combining both of them. Actually, it cancels each other out. You oh, know, really? You, you, so get, you get bit with the snake venom, and that hurts. And then you get bit with the shark venom, but then the snake venom and the shark venom kind of cancel each other out, and it just turns into a nice <laughs> melatonin type deal. It's just like, it's, oh, oh that, aside, aside from the that's pretty nice. Aside from the trauma of getting bitten by, uh, by a snake by a, and a yeah, shark, by a and, snake and shark. That, yeah. but you, you, it's, just, it's just really weird. I mean, who, who's creating snake sharks? So it's like, ah! 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 you know, kind of okay with this. Not gonna lie. Well, at least, my, at least I'm not feeling so stressed. Yeah, I actually feel pretty good right now. And then that's when they start chewing. Ow. You don't even know what happens. And then you're just gone. And then you're just gone. That's what it's like being in Resident Evil 6. Hey, can I be in this game, please? That's what Resident Evil 6 feels like. Getting bitten by a snake and a shark. And a shark, yeah, at the same time. And having Venom cancel that so that way you feel nothing by the time it's over. Mm. Dude, for real. You know, when are we gonna play Resident Evil 6? I don't remember doing it at all. Don't do it because then people will ask and we'll do it again and that's not happening! <laughs> I can't do this again! I don't wanna do it! I, I am glad that Resident Evil 6 is no longer the best selling Resident Evil game of all time. Nope, it got overtaken by the better ones! I think 5 is the best selling one now? I thought it was 7. No, no, 7 made its money back and more. I It might be 8 because they advertised the hell out of 8. I don't know if eight sold. You know, you know I'm, I'm going to look it up. Yeah, go ahead. And, sure. Go ahead and take a look. I'm, I'm pretty. I love listening to sales numbers. I'm pretty sure it's five, just because it had the time and the better reception. Well, it it was basically a remake of four, it, in a manner of speaking. I know it wasn't actually a remake of four. Don't at me. I still think seven did really good. I don't know. Well, it it has had the. Uh, the time to gain more sales numbers, but I don't know if that actually overtook five or six. Okay, so yeah, what you got? I, I, I'm I'm going by uh, the v, the VG Sales Wiki here. Okay. So uh, the, this is the source I'm using. 
For Resident Evil 1, it sold a total of 5.3 million copies. Oh, that's not too bad. Resident Evil 2, 6.1 million copies. And this is going from first game release to... I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going going up. I know, but I, I want to know if it's like remake, if it's re Th this two is just, remake. This is just, you know, standard, bog standard, tank control Resi 2. Gotcha. Go, I'm just, bog standard. I'm going here. Yeah. Uh, Resi 3, uh, 3.5 million. <laughs> Code Veronica, including Code Veronica X and all the re-releases, mm -hmm. 2.9 million. Wow! Resident Evil Survivor Series sold 643,914. <laughs> that is including Gun Sur Resident Evil Survivor, Gun Survivor 2, and Gun Survivor 4. Oh, Jesus, that did not do well. The Resi Remake did 5.4 million. That's, that's... Resi Zero did 4.2 million. Oh, okay. That's the Outbreak good. series did a combined 1.6 million, with Outbreak File Number Two being an abysmal 213,000 copies sold. Ooh, wow. But I mean, you make another one, especially when the first one sold 1.4 million. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Resi Four uh, is in the lead so far with 10 million copies sold. And that's after so many re-releases and different versions. 10.8 million copies sold, and the best. Oh selling... bullshit! The best-selling one so far is the one for the PS2. Oh, yeah, because it no longer became a GameCube exclusive. That's right. So yeah. Every, so everybody else in the world who didn't buy a GameCube had a PS2 bought that. The Chronicles series that we're playing now, a total of 1.5 million. Makes sense. Resi 5 takes the lead with 13.4 million copies. 7.8 of them were on the PS3 and 360 when it first came out. Uh, that, wow! That's genius. Wow! I love it. And another 2.1 million from this uh, 2016 re-release on PS4 and Xbox One. That and makes when sense. it comes to Xbox Five and Series X, well, there's even more money. Oh, Mercenaries 3D, 166,000 units. Yeah, that it did not do well. It's considered rare now. Yep, Resi 6 gets 11 million point, uh, 11.6 million copies. What are you doing? Uh, Raccoon City, 2.7 million copies. Wow. <laughs> Wait, really? Apparently. Operation Raccoon City sold 2.5 million on <gasps> PS3 and 360. How? Is it because oh. it was in the in the glory days of the team-based game? It must have been. Because like been. I know Rainbow Six was doing was doing pretty good around yeah, that time. Resi Six sold a shit ton of, of, of sales back then. Uh, so. yeah. Resi Revelations uh, is just Revelations One, 3.6 million. Revelations Two, 3.8 million. That makes sense because going episodic meant. And it also having a release schedule, that really helped it. So now we are going for uh, current ones now. So uh, yeah. Resi 7 has sold 10.2 million. Let's go down then. Resi 2 Remake, 8.9 million. Resi 3 Remake, 4.6 million. Uh. And Resident Evil Village, 4.8 million. 4.8 million, really? Yeah. Could have sworn I had more. That might be old, old sales, though. As of what date? I don't know, I'm looking up the source they got right now... This is this is like last year, when they were like, Oh wow, we sold over 3 million units! Which, I mean, 3 point some million? It doesn't seem like a big number in today's standards. That's a lot of games! Like, kudos to any game that can hit the million mark in the first place. Yeah, because it yeah in May they say, wow, 3 point million, and now, uh... It sold over 5 million from an article in October, so... Congrats! I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it did fine. It, it did fine. I, lo I love when games sell millions of units, and, it's and people, such a good and people are actually happy about it. Hmm? I'm looking at you, Square Enix. Not every game needs to sell 10 million copies in order to be successful. I'll never forget, they had three decent games. It was, uh... The latest Hitman, Absolution, I think. Yeah. It was Sleeping Dogs, and it was the Tomb Raider reboot. And they're fine, serviceable games, depending on who you ask. My pick of the three is Sleeping Dogs, though. I love Sleeping Dogs. It's a great game. But Square Enix was disappointed by all three of these, even though they sold over three million units each. Yeah. Each. Three. Each. Three million is nothing to scoff at. I. I mean. When it comes to, like, YouTube and game sales, just imagine this. When somebody said, oh, I only got a few hundred views, well, just imagine that many people in a room. And then when talking game sales, imagine that, like, three million people in a room who liked your game and bought it. You gotta build trust, too. Oh, that too. I mean, Dark Souls, as a series, didn't sell 12, uh, 10 million copies until Dark Souls 3. 
Like grand total? Yeah, grand total. All, oh, wow. all, all games. I didn't know that. 10 million copies from Dark Souls 3. Wow. Meanwhile, Elden Ring, you hear, hear about this? 10 million. 12 million. 12? 12 million copies, and it hasn't even been a month. Probably because it was the most anticipated game for, like, ever. And it lived up to all those expectations. Well, good, because if it didn't... Every single one of them. If it didn't, it would be crucified. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew they had shared a sales number. I just couldn't remember where in the millions we were at. It was wild. And one million units in Japan, which is which is pretty big. That is pretty big. Was it uh, mostly Sony sales? Uh, I, I don't know about Since that. Since the Xbox doesn't do crap over in Japan. Uh, my, my guess it would be PC, PS4. PS, oh, yeah. PS5. You know, the Sony PCs, because again, Xbox doesn't do much. But, uh... You know, people in the West were chomping at the bit for this, too. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's so good. It's so good. Please. I think it's because you were getting Hungry Souls fans and you were getting uh, Game of Thrones fans for the George R. R. Martin name recognition. Oh, sure. yeah. That helped. Even though George R. R. Martin, didn't he just go in there and say, yeah, that looks pretty good. I, I can't remember how much involvement he had with he, the game. He did the story. He did the story, okay. He basically did the story before everything got all fucked up in that game. Uh, the spiders. Yes, a lot of spiders. Wait, when you say fucked up, you mean like b before they started going into development hell, kind of? No, I meant like in the story when, but like, oh, George R. R. Martin he wrote the characters and like the setting and and you know the relationships between between everything, but when the shattering came and all and everything got fucked oh. up, that's when the software stepped in. It's like, okay, yeah, now this character he has like six thousand limbs now. <laughs> Yeah, this one? Yeah, he's on the back of a snake. Yeah, I'll just do that. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's kind of fuck up the monsters a little bit. Let's, let's make them scary. I gotta know who thought of the dung eater, though. Who thought of the guy who kills people and then makes sure that their corpses still die? Ew. See, I've always liked the Souls games because of the monster designs. I just like looking at the icky monsters. Yeah, don't play Dark Souls 2 then. And like, uh, how do you kill that thing? Oh yeah, because it's just dudes. It's just mostly dudes of armor. It didn't have the kind oh. of spark of imagination that Dark Souls had. Well, it's still fine though. I don't like that we have to fight a giant bee now. Every everybody hates Dark Souls 2, even though it's like, you know, the bee plus game. Fucking dogs. You know, I'm not really talking about this uh, this uh, one too much. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. We we got to sales numbers, and I slowly went to to Elden Ring, the current uh, you know game that everybody's talking about. At time of recording, uh, <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was coming. Day 21. <laughs> I've played every day for 21 days. UDJ's log. Yes. Day 21. No, really, I, I have a log. You know when they say go buy a notebook for the game? I did. It's like a little journal. Which I can, I can probably use for a potential let's play. You shouldn't have said that. It's bad luck. It's bad juju. I know. I know people bother me for it. Shit. They, they, they go into my channel, they subscribe, and they watch my videos, and they ask me, well, then maybe it'll happen. There's too many. Oh, God. There is so much crap. I hate this. Get a can of raid! Yeah, seriously! Oh, well, that was it. Good. Oop. Let's do this. There you go. <sighs> Monsters everywhere. You don't have a distracted uh, guy inside in. with your weapons. You, you do a lot better. Too. Yeah. It's easier I don't know. I lost my first aid spray early on. You're fine. You're fine. You're doing great. You're doing all right. Wait, is that it? Oh my God. I have total faith in you. <sighs> okay. Wow. That was rough. Sus. Holy crap! Look at those stars! Guys, we got a magic cylinder, we got a Richard, we got a crow, and we got a chapter two! Ooh. So now we can move on to where Richard dies. I'm sure it'll be very sad, and they'll be crying, there'll be tears, and, mm. and we'll, we'll be like, <laughs> we'll be like, oh no! You don't know how Resident Evil treats its characters. This was another nice little short chapter to connect Resident Evil Zero to Resident Evil One. Did we need to know how Rebecca found Richard? Absolutely not. Does it help when combining the lore together? Absolutely it does. I greatly enjoyed this chapter, even though it was basically a shooting gallery of all the monsters from Resident Evil One, but that's okay. We only missed one file, but one thing I actually wanted to look over before we get that file is something I glossed over when we went through Resident Evil Remake initially. We're actually going to take the alternate path. 
just to show you that really nothing changes. And in fact, the dialogue barely changes whatsoever. But if you do pick the top section, you get ammo and a healing item, which is nice, granted. But there's no other reason to come up here besides getting a perfect game in pool. I thought the captain might be here. At least we can stock up on supplies. And I do like the small detail that Rebecca mentions. Oh, hey, there's supplies up here. Let's go ahead and steal this stuff. What's kind of neat is if you go to the top path and don't reach this bottom path here, you can still steal the stuff from down below so you're not missing out on anything. So really, you should be taking the top path to get absolutely everything. The file is actually right before you climb up this ladder. This is your only opportunity to get it because as soon as Richard says, we should be able to get back above ground, you're out of luck. Yay! Another 100% completed level! Woo! These shorter chapters are really nice. Add to the story. I constantly mention this. This is a good thing. And then when they start adding the extra crap from Umbrella Chronicles exclusively, I start to... Uh, okay, fine, whatever, you're doing your thing. The next chapter is, again, an example of this, where we didn't need the Umbrella Chronicles inclusion, but we're gonna do it anyway because they think it's written really well. And Capcom, I hate to blow your mind, but it's not. 